Welkom bij de Orchid Saga. Um, my name is Elke Wiesma. I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And today, you guys, I'm going to do a blooming update for the month of April already. Time is flying. I don't know how, uh, how about you guys, but I think it's uh, really flying. Anyhow, time to do uh, an update, like I said, on the blooms. And I'm starting with the uh, Brasia corner. And we already see this beautiful yellow greenish uh, brassia. It's, um, I need to speak on the tag in a second. Some, uh, yeah, there it is. Green parrot. This spike is uh, going over, as we can see, but still some colors on there. And like we saw, it just it has a fairly new one over here. And uh, right next to it, this beauty. I hope you can see it. it's a very bright day, but uh, this is the Brasia Verona. Beautiful spidery types and we have some buds to come to open up, some more blooms in the future. And then over here we have my Thailand's Black. Still a few blooms. My, uh, most of my uh, Dendrobium Phenoliopsis are done blooming. It's time to uh, grow new canes, but this one is still uh, having some uh, some flowers on. Some beautiful flowers. And down here, before I forget, I have one of the terrestrials. It's here in bloom. Look at that. There she is. So that's one over here. Let me have a quick look over here at the Mertonia corner. Not much, but this is still blooming, even though the blooms are about to go over, as you can see, a Miltonia sunset. And I call this one my spotted one, with these spotted areas on the sepals and petals, as you can see. And this just repotted Miltonia, still blooming, but it's going over now. It's still working on this spike. Who knows? I will uh, watch the bulbs, but anyhow, a few blooms over here. Let's turn this way. We have this one still in bloom. Same story as the Thailand Black. Then draw me a Phenoliopsis. No name for it, but uh, it's almost done blooming. And then this one, this one was a little bit later in bloom. The Spring Eclipse. Dendrobium phenoliopsis, spring eclipse. This one I bought in flower, and this should be the Nora Takanada, Dendrobium Nora Takanada, thanks to uh, Michael McCarthy, who uh, gave me the name for this one. <laughs> yeah, next to it, <laughs> we have this one. This one's also uh, almost done blooming. It's a cross with the uh, Dendrobium spect Spectabile. This is the name. Beautiful, strange, very strange uh, shaped flowers. But yeah, they were uh, for here for quite a while already. So yeah, it's time uh, to go apparently, but still kind of nice. <laughs> then over here, let me see how we're going to do this. We have this Dendrobium Phenoliopsis in bloom. It's the polar fire. Over here, let me see. Then you guys, look at this. <laughs> no bleed, still in bloom, but most of the blooms are going over now. But yeah, next to it, isn't this beautiful? Such, and even more buds to come there. It's just starting to open up. And it's the Stardust Firebirds, the Dropium. But absolutely beautiful colors. And then in the back, <laughs> look at that. What a splash of flowers and colors. This is the Rainbow Dance, the Dropium Rainbow Dance. Absolutely beautiful. And a lot of flowers. Then a few blooms still there on the purple one. It's a little bit hard to read, I'm sorry. 
my prima donna normally type also still a few blooms but most of them are going over now then over here look at this beauty i think most of you guys will recognize this one it's the harveyanum dendron harveyanum beautiful yellow blooms with the hairs on there on the blooms on the lip and the petals absolutely beautiful and we have quite some spikes to come here and here and i saw this one down here <laughs> so we will uh, we'll have a few more this is almost over sadly this one is uh, fairly quick it's not a huge spike for this one this is the lindley eye but nonetheless we had some blooms here and then this one you guys this is very nice i think this big dendrobium <laughs> hancocki eye uh, and it's in bloom you see the yellow flowers already but let me try to get one in focus let me zoom in a little bit here we go look at that i did count 17. a few are already over a few need to go uh, open up a few buds we have but in total 17. last year i had one only one flower on this let me see and the year before i think i had two so now having 17 is good i think <laughs> we are doing better yeah beautiful a fairly large orchid this can grow way bigger than this but yeah it's still beautiful even though uh, it's not as is full size then yes of course we have the fails you guys i just recently uh, did a video on all of them and i will link the video and that is my best video so far with uh, the views it's uh, in the top 10 i did uh, have some art tutorials back in the days that had a few more views but the best uh, archive video so far, you guys, is that uh, Fan Leopsis, the look at all of them at the wall, my fails. That one is doing so well. So thank you so much, you guys, for that uh, uh, amazing result on this video. But yeah, still a heck of a lot of blooms, as you can see. So I will, li will link this video if you want to go in depth on them. But And this one is starting to... Uh, get is right color i think this is uh, yellow enough <laughs> when i filmed it in that video it wasn't as yellow yet but it, it takes some time and it's the i'm sorry uh for you guys who think who uh, want to know uh, which orchid i'm talking about friendly opsis variety nobilis that is this one with a slight fragrance then over here you guys look at this <laughs> i still call them ivanagaras uh, it's it's they have a different name but i think <laughs> probably everybody recognized them as the ivanagaras but oh they are so beautiful this is the variety pink and i have two of them two divisions but so beautiful wonderful fragrance on them absolutely beautiful this one has two spikes here so yeah quite a cluster of blooms and this one has one spike you can see if they just open up they are the blooms are a little bit more yellow and then they fade to a more creamy with pink colors and next to it we have this beauty still in bloom it lost a few blooms already Maybe you recognize it if you saw my previous update. This is the name of that uh, orchid. <laughs> Very beautiful. And then you guys, next to it, look at this. My Francis Fox. This is the first time I uh, did rebloom it. But look at it. These blooms are very spectacular. With all those colors and the details in the lip absolutely beautiful at least i i find them and one of the sepals on all the blooms are a little bit uh, 
bending forward. It should have been up a little bit more, I think. I would like that a little bit better, but nonetheless, still beautiful. And in the back we have here, this one is almost done blooming. It's a, a René Marquez cross with a Catlea type free spirit, if I'm correct. And then no name for this one, but beautiful, just opened up. This is from my previous visit to Landsbergen. So last year's visit, I found this one. Absolutely beautiful. An Encyclia Catlea cross, something like that. We're not sure about it, but absolutely beautiful. And we have more spikes to come. And then look at this beauty. I'm sorry for the roots. <laughs> absolutely beautiful color. And it has a second spike there in the back. I hope you can see it. It's a little bit hard to reach. And the bloom is facing upwards. It's kind of funny, actually. This is now also in Encyclia Black, Black Comment, I believe. I'm looking for the tag, but I cannot find it. It's probably it fell on the floor, but Encyclia Black Comment, I believe, is called. Is this, uh, this one is called. Then up here, one of the Anzalia Africanas. Look at those beauties. Absolutely stunning. And there in the back, it has another huge spike. Absolutely huge. It's from the same one. But its neighbor <laughs> is also in bloom. Let me uh, try to zoom in. Yeah, we have some sunshine. I'm not sure if you can see it on my screen. It's very dark. Let me try this side. I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, but it's a little bit hard for me to see. I think this is better, but I'm not sure. I hope so. These blooms are a little bit darker, so that's another variety of the Ancelia Africanas. So here the two are. You can probably recognize them on the root systems. They like the root. Then we have another no ID Catlea type, but beautiful blooms. Also from uh, one of the visits to Landsbergen. Absolutely beautiful. Three blooms on this one. So yeah, and then we have this one. This one is also in uh, quite some collections I saw on YouTube. Beautiful, very deep orange on this Catlea. And this is the Golden Boy. It has a little bit more in the name, but it's uh, ending on <laughs> Golden Boy. It's a fairly long name. But anyhow, it's beautiful. And as usual, if you want to know more about the names, please let me know. But it's very hard to grab all the tags, so I hope you don't mind. But you can ask if you want to know a name. And I am happy to give it to you, if I have the name, of course. Then, let me see, this is a nobly from my last visit to Landsbergen, is in bloom. Those are not my blooms, but it's waiting for a repot. <laughs> let me check, let me check. Ah, yes, of course. This beautiful Vanda is starting to open up her blooms. There we go, oh, look at that. Beautiful, just opening up. So most of the times these blooms are to get a little bit bigger once they are opened. Let me check on this side. We have another one. Let's try to, yeah, I think this is better. Beautiful brown orange colors on this one. Just, just uh, opening up, like I said. Beautiful new spike on there. And I bought this one as a Venda orange brown. And I think there is a name for it, but I don't have it. Well, actually for every orchid, it should be a name, I think. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a Tolumnia, also still on the mound, waiting for it to be repotted. I have no name for this one, but I do have a name for this one. She just opened up, well, not opened up uh, just, I think about a week or so back, but uh, this Rene Marquez decided to make another bloom. 
very beautiful it's already a bit fading so it's probably been here for a while already and then we have this Delumnia I think I did get a name uh, for this one last year to kill your sunset or sunrise something like that Epidendrums, a beautiful orange one and this is called a yellow one I think it's more a little bit of a lighter orange to be honest but <laughs> for me it's more orange but anyhow it's a little bit lighter and then we have this white one several spikes as you can see this is the oldest you can already see it on the stem I think and start at this one look at that beautiful not a cluster there and not a cluster here and there in the back you can see also a beautiful spike so yeah that's beautiful whoops I'm sorry then we have this little fail here <laughs> let me check yeah these were the blooms so far in the greenhouse so let's get into the orchid room and there's something special as well because the season is started look at these guys Miltoniopsis they are a little bit later than last year but as you can see I have here a division of the Herr Alexander Newton Falls beautiful purple and reddish colors then this purple one which might be this one I'm not completely sure but for me it did, when I bought it it did, did look like this one the colors are now a bit brighter but who knows it's at least very uh, similar let me put the tag back there we go and then we have the another her Alexander it's the other division these are my favorites you guys if you didn't know already Miltoniopsis absolutely my favorite so beautiful yeah, this one is still a little bit sad looking is the one that I bought as an Andrea West well it's not even close to it whole other story I'm not going to go into it now <laughs> look at this beauty absolutely stunning three blooms on here and the spike was a bit caught in between the leaves there but it managed to get out I didn't uh, saw it in time oh here's the tag uh, it's stuck the tag you can see it now Uno Black Falls Hayim Hajim Uno Black Falls so there is that one then over here is another one that's just about to open up so that will will be probably uh, in our next update <laughs> and this one this one was the first one for me to bloom this year absolutely beautiful still four beautiful blooms on here and here is the name for this one white summer angel heart so yeah absolutely beautiful then let's go down because there we have another one in bloom quite some blooms on its spike I think five yes let me turn this around a little bit look at that <laughs> facing a little bit backwards probably because I turn it around a little bit too uh, so quick I have um, that's why they are facing a little bit towards the light I have this as a red tie but hmm, not only up red tie I'm not sure I'm not sure to be honest but it looks very uh, similar and down there that one is not doing well but it never did so I'm letting it bloom but I think I'm going to lose that one sadly but it's not opening up the blooms yet just about then we have the odontoglossum altmar still beautiful and blooming and as you can see two new, new spikes on the way 
Yeah, beautiful. Very uh, beautiful lip, I think. That purple and red together it really works on this one. And above this one is an, an, another Miltoniopsis, just about opening up, as you can see. And this one I have as a cream yellow, Hogar cream yellow. Not sure if that is the right idea, but a viewer did give me uh, the name for it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyhow, it's almost there. <laughs> then this beautiful yellow orange one just started to open up. Look at that, beautiful. And I have this one as the Uncostello, Un Costellopsis, whoops, I'm sorry, Sunkist, uh, Sunkist and Buttercup. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then we have the Zygo, Zygo Impasto Blue with beautiful flowers on it. Absolutely beautiful. And then next to one another, we have two of Michael McCarthy's favorites. <laughs> this is the first one. Stunning blooms, absolutely stunning. Golden Bay. Propetalum, yes, Propetalum Golden Bay. You can see the name tag there in the back. That is this one. And he also likes this one, but I have sadly no name for this one. It's a beautiful purple one and it has another spike here in the back maybe we can see it from the other side of the shelf but yeah absolutely beautiful then up here this one is also opening up but yeah I think I can uh, so it's like this very this is a one of my favorite colors as well the dark red color absolutely beautiful and a fairly long beautiful spike coming from uh, this bulb over here and i did get a name also from michael michael mccarthy it should be this one wilsonara red pacific deep shadows or at least very similar so let's put it back oops <laughs> I will find it later again. Let me check. Yes, over here we have this one. And the fragrance on this one is fantastic. A very rosy, sweet fragrance to it. And I believe that it is, it is this one. Not completely sure, but it's very, very similar. Absolutely beautiful. And while we're here, you guys, look at that, Nelly Eiler there. Red velvet. Well, yeah, it's absolutely a red velvet. <laughs> Color on the blooms there. All right, let me check over here. Yeah, these are done blooming. Well, must have well, yes. Well, actually, this is a new one, I think. It has two blooms there's one older <laughs> and a new one this is a mesdevelia black velvet whoops there it goes the yellow one is done blooming so i'm going to skip that one let me check over here let me check well first we have that zygonesia one this is the other spike way better in frame now <laughs> up here i have the katarina whoops katarina zog still in bloom where are you there you are <laughs> look at that there are very powerful fragrance it's a bit strong i don't mind it but i like the more sweeter types of fragrance we have another spike coming here and look at the in the back there, the beautiful red spike we just saw. 
Absolutely beautiful. Then over here, not so much. Maybe a, another shot on the Nelly. Maybe this helps. As I can see it now, my, my camera is, is having trouble getting this, the color right. Pro maybe if I do my editing, it's okay, but I have no idea. I hope it will. It's very, absolutely, as the name suggests, a red velvet. It's, it's a perfect name because it absolutely is a red velvet. Absolutely beautiful. And then my psychopsis is working on this bloom as you can see it's all about almost open and this one is fully opened oops let me turn it around a little bit without knocking things over but yeah i really really love these flowers absolutely beautiful these spikes are so beautiful it's just like like butterflies flying around at least that's what it does remind me of this is another one <laughs> about to fall off a pragmapidium still in bloom we recently did a care collab about the, the slipper orchids where this one was in as well and so if you want to know more about the care that i do give them you may want to check that video let me quickly see no no more blooms here but i have something new opened here it's also a beautiful orange color and sadly i do not have a name for this one but i really really love the color on it very nice orange at least i think <laughs> You may disagree, of course. This one is uh, going over. Pipikea, Oncidium, or Oncidopsis, I believe nowadays. Pipikea. This one is just not there yet. Uh, it's the Sturbic. But almost, it will be uh, in the next update. Then the Catatante, we do have a few more blooms. Still, even though a few more buds here. So yeah, it had a fairly uh, blooming session already. This is a spike and here this one, but it decided to uh, put out a few more. That's okay, of course. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, we have two blooms over here. Beautiful rusty red colors. It's a Wilson Arma. If I don't know. Beautiful. I really uh, enjoy the rusty colors as well. And then we are almost there, you guys. We have this Puffio Pedalum in bloom. Well, actually, those two. <laughs> On the right, you see the uh, Pinocchio Alba version. And this one I have as a uh, Puffio Pedalum White Lady. Fernanda, uh, Fernanda Maciento, Argus and Succulents. This helped me out with, uh, with the name. I already had it on the tag, but I wasn't sure. And then she mentioned it in our slipper uh, care update. So I'm pretty sure this is the uh, white lady. And the Alba, the Pinocchio Alba, I'm sure it's the right name. Yeah, beautiful, I think. So yeah, quickly check, I always seem to forget a few <laughs> here and there, but I think we are uh, done with the blooms. Yeah, look at this, you guys. I really, really, really love them. <laughs> and the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Built on the opposite seasons. I love them. Anyhow, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this blooming update. Like I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, if I, if I skipped a name or I wasn't sure or I did forget and you want to know it, please let me know. I am happy uh, to give it uh, the names if I have them. And for now, of course, if you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below as well. And I just want to say uh, thank you. You may want to give this a thumbs up, this video. And of course, I really hope to see you at, uh, at one of my uh, next uh, videos. 
拜。<笑>